Competing for your money is a top priority of tax preparers during this time of year, but how can you tell if a deal is really as good as it looks on paper? News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence talked to one woman who says she is a victim of misleading advertising. Hannah. Kim, I also spoke with someone at Chattanooga's Better Business Bureau today. He says you have to make sure you understand all the rules that apply to a promotion that's run by a tax preparer, and that can often be very tricky. Georgia Beavers says she had to find a new place to get her taxes done this year. I had seen the signs in Walmart because that's where I shop. She went to the Jackson Hewitt booth in the Dalton Walmart. Not only did she end up paying almost $150 more than she was quoted, but she says she didn't even get the deal the center was promoting. They lied about it. I mean, that's the out and out lie, what they're advertising, and there's no telling how many poor people have been taken with it. According to this online ad, customers are supposed to receive a $50 Walmart gift card just for doing their taxes with the company. Jim Winsett of the Better Business Bureau says that could count as misleading advertising. There still should be an asterisk uh, notation there. Uh, that there are some exceptions to this rule. Beavers says Jackson Hewitt told her she was not eligible for the $50 because she owed money to the IRS, but she says she was upfront about that. I knew when I went that I would have to pay, and I told her, you know, that that's what it was. I'm unhappy about uh, when, what I'm seeing, and, and I hope there doesn't become a pattern of that. And, and I did look on the internet to see if there were other complaints. And, and I am seeing other people complain about it, so I think it'll be elevated to another level. Beaver says it's the principle of the matter that she's most upset about. I'm not a rich person, but, you know, it's not about the money. It's, uh, I could live from now on without that gift card, but I don't like to be lied to. Winsett says if more people come forward saying they've been affected by this, the BBB will challenge it themselves. We reached out to Jackson Hewitt and we are still waiting to hear back from them regarding this promotion.